Newcastle upon Tyne, at the site of the new Premier Inn we've just converted from an old co-op department store. This has been a fantastic project for us, it's really raised our profile within the region. This is a very iconic building within Newcastle and created an awful lot of interest throughout the build. It's been quite a challenge going through, we've been on site for nearly two years and I've had to really look after this building as well as refurbish it to the standards that Premier Inn require. When we first found out that it was getting developed into a Premier Inn within the city centre, I was thrilled and delighted and for the last two years seeing the project develop, looking at all the features that have been uncovered, the heritage of the building, the listed features that have been retained in it, walking around, looking at it now, seeing what's been done and the work that's been done, the way things have been incorporated within the Premier Inn building, it just looks stunning. When we were doing the refurbishment we came across a war memorial that had the names of co-op staff that had died in the First and Second World Wars and we are re-commemorating that plaque today with the aid of the local community and Premier in themselves. InServe asked me to come and work for them as their historic building consultant on the listed building. There was a lot of work to do, a lot of changes that needed to be made and we needed to understand what was significant and very special about this building in order to make sure we retained that and kept what was important but also managed the change through to the new use for Premier Inn. Some particular interests of this building are that the fact that it was a Grade 2 listed Art Deco building built in the 20s and 30s. There were some very prominent features on the building that we've managed to restore and bring back to life. Those are the barometer and the clocks on the two towers. The running men which are quite iconic for this building and the large cast iron arcade we uncovered during the demolition that we've carefully taken down, had restored by the original manufacturers of them and have put them back in place and they look absolutely fantastic. There were three clocks and one barometer. They were one of the elements that we were really keen to get absolutely right and we managed to trace back uh, through the archives who the original makers were for the clocks and indeed Smiths of Derby then recreated those clocks for us. There was a lot of technical detail that needed to get right, get the colours right, get the neon right um, and they're now back in place and the building is really lifted by, by having them there. The running men that you can see on the shot here are one of the key heritage features of the building and one of the key things that Newcastle City Council planners wanted kept, reinstalled and, and brought back into life as you can see them today. Cooperative uh, motif is uh, time and labour which is what these little guys are doing on this handrail here. And we actually got it installed by a local company called John Ainsley's, whose grandfather actually installed these back in the 1930s. We probably saved half of them. The other half of them, uh, unfortunately, were either stolen, broken over the years that the building wasn't in use. And we've had the other sort of 50% of them brought back and recast at a, a foundry down in Bradford. And the heritage guys are absolutely over the moon with the fact that it's back in use as it is today. The external facade of the building was a challenge. Um, when we took the building on it was in a poor state of repair and um, it hadn't been maintained for, for a lot of years. So we erected scaffolding to the full height of the building in conjunction with Newcastle City Council's Heritage Department undertook a careful um, restoration of the external stonework, the external windows. And you'll see on the externals there is a band of colour that now goes along the whole of the Newgate Street facade. It took a very light touch to ensure that we didn't remove the face of the existing stone and open it up to the elements so it deteriorates quicker in the future. This has been a fantastic project to be involved in. I'm really proud of all the work we've done. It's not been easy. There's been really difficult decisions to make and compromises have to be made sometimes on the listed building. But the ultimate end is that we have a building back in use and it will be a building that's cared for and maintained as a result and that to me is a fantastic result. The whole team from Archeo, the architects to our specialist subcontractors who have all been involved have made it, it's a fantastic team effort to bring it into the state it is today and everybody that's been here today looking around can see that you know it was worthwhile doing. Having worked on the project now for, for two and a half years there's not many projects that you get to work on for, for such a, a length of time from pre-construction through to completion where we are now. It's an iconic building in Newcastle City Centre, it evokes a lot of memories for people and it's been a fabulous project to work on. would like to say thank you to InterServe for the part that they've played during the development from the creation of the Inside Newgate Street hashtag to enable us to see the development as it's been going on and progressing has been wonderful to having a hard hat show round, having a lot of the nuances of the building explained, explaining the work that's been done it just means so much to myself, to the brand and the city in the whole to take something and now start reusing it 
InServe have been great. This is a, a project that we are proud of and the, the, certainly the site team are rightly proud of all the work that they've done here. They've worked extremely hard and it has really been a challenging project but one that everybody's very proud of being involved with.